five years of Curated we're celebrating this year. It's a monumental anniversary for us. We don't sell a lot of cars. It's not like we're some dealers that sell 50 to 100 cars a month. Um, we sell maybe three to five cars a month. And, but we've had an incredible five years. And, and we started, I think, uh, a few weeks ago with our top 10 most significant purchases and cars that we've had. And this car for me, it's actually, it's, it's a car that I wish I never sold. Luckily, I sold it to a very good friend uh, who has allowed me sort of almost as an artist to basically restore it in a preservation way. And this car, I think, of all the cars that we've had, will have such a presence once it's finished. It's a car that we'll take to Pebble Beach or we'll take to any major show and it will break next. Um, it's the Monaco Grand Prix Lamborghini Countach. So the interesting part of this car is that a lot of people when they first see it or they come into the showroom and they see the car, they don't realize it's the actual car. So Lamborghini had major uh, financial issues and essentially in 1980, the company was purchased by the Mimran brothers. The first two cars that were I guess you could say produced for them. Um, I don't know the exact story. Maybe they're the first two new LP400S Countach Series 3 that came off the line and they took them. Um, but there was a red with black LP400S Series 3 car and a white with blue car. Now, historically, Lamborghini always had uh, a few cars at the Monaco Grand Prix. In the 60s, there's some great photos of uh, Bob Wallace with the original Mira prototype. Uh, the Marzal was actually used, uh, and I don't know if it was for parade laps or whatnot, but in 1981, the red Countach and the white Countach were used as the intervention cars, essentially the pace cars for the Grand Prix. These photos are so iconic, seeing these cars go around the track and essentially, I would say this inspired a generation of models and, and images in collectors' heads of these cars. I mean, look next to us, there's a 143rd here. Uh, there's a famous Hot Wheels car that was inspired by that car. And the white with blue car is the car that we have today. And it was used again in 1982 um, for the Monaco Grand Prix. So it was a car that was used two years in the Monaco Grand Prix. We actually, there's some unique features that were built specially for uh, Jean-Claude Mimran. So the door panels have some unique cutouts in them and there's there's a, a cool little uh, compartment on the door sill, uh, assuming he could put, you know, a pair of sunglasses or, or something there. So, so this car essentially was his personal car. It was used in the Grand Prix. There's some great photos, blah, 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 blah. And it disappears literally off the radar. When we first started, I actually started digging around for one of the Monaco Grand Prix cars. I thought, wow, what a, what a presence to show up to an event with, you know, a Countach with police lights on it. And, you know, wow, this, this is part of history. And it's funny because I, I couldn't find any leads. I couldn't find the cars. I couldn't find anything. I one day get a cold call uh, from a colleague in Europe and he says, yeah, I, I have this car, uh, Jean-Claude Mimram's car, that was the base car. I was like, oh my God, like, I want it, <laughs> like we have to buy it. So we ended up, uh, I, I forget the exact price we negotiated, uh, I, I, I didn't take too much time, I had somebody inspect it and we bought the car. I brought it to the US while it was on its way here. I was talking to a great friend of mine and I, I basically told him, listen, I never push you to buy anything. You have to buy this car. Like I'm either going to figure out how to keep it or, or you have to buy it. So we brought the car here. Remarkably, I think it's a 4,500 mile original car, original paint, original interior. It still wore its original tires. All of the mechanical was original. I mean, the spark plug wires were the original red Cavus very, very well-preserved car. Forget the fact that it's a Monaco Pace car in this icon, iconic car of Lamborghini history. 
it was probably the nicest preserved Countach I had seen in many years as well. So we started basically going through everything. Uh, the car hadn't run in a long time. We decided to pull the engine out, do a complete re rebuild of the engine, uh, valves, gaskets, seals, and basically a full mechanical restoration. I don't know exactly when we're gonna have sort of a, a major public unveiling. Uh, I, it might be at Amelia Island Concours, but I would say of all the cars we've had, the Monaco Grand Prix Countach definitely makes the top 10.